Hi, my name is Beth Massey, and today I'm going to show you how to filter and sort data on a screen in Visual Studio LightSwitch. LightSwitch is a new development tool for building business applications for the desktop and the cloud. LightSwitch makes it easy to create data-centric, rich Internet Silverlight applications. This lesson picks up where we left off in the last video. We have a simple order management system with products, customers, their orders, and details. We've got a couple basic screens so far for searching and editing customers. Now let's add a new editable grid for our products so that we can create, um, we can start entering these products into the system. Okay, so let's go ahead and right click on the screens node and add screen, and I'm going to select editable grid screen. For the screen data, I'll select products and click OK. Let's go ahead and run this right away and start entering some data into the table. Okay, so let's go ahead and open the editable products grid screen. And I'm just going to start entering some data in here. Okay. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and save that. Okay, and I'm just going to refresh this data. You'll notice, though, that it's not in any particular order. It's actually in the order that I entered the data. What we'd really like to show here is the, uh, the, the sort by product name ascending, okay, so that Apple's is first. I mean, users could go ahead and click on the, um, the columns up here to sort by those columns, but I'd really like to display all the products because there could be a lot of them in alphabetical order right when the um, screen opens. So there's a couple ways that we can do this. So let's see. Let's see how we could do it. The first way I'll show you is by modifying the query that is associated with this screen itself. So I've got this editable products grid screen open, and if we take a look at the left-hand side of the screen designer, we have the data that's being displayed on the screen. And this is the query that is being used to get this data. Okay, so when you select the products query right here, in this case, you can see the properties that are associated with the screen data. Here you can set properties like whether it supports paging, sorting, searching, um, and what, what, how many items to display per page. Um, so basically what this means is this tells um, LightSwitch how many rows it should return from the database when it executes a search. You can also specify additional properties like whether or not um, we should um, execute the query at all even when, when the screen opens. Okay? All right, so to modify this screen query so that we can set up this default sort for our data, we just need to click this Edit Query button and now we can add in our sort. So I'm going to sort this by product name ascending. Okay, and hit save. Now when we go ahead and run this again, we should see our products sorted by their product name. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the products grid, and there we go. Now we've got this sorted by um, apples, oranges, Oreos, and Red Bull. It's all sorted by the product name. Okay, so there's another way I want to demonstrate that we could do this. Okay, so let's go ahead and show that. So instead of modifying the screen screens query, what we can do is we can um, add what's called a global query instead. So I'm going to close this screen, and I'm going to go to the data sources, and under products here on the product entity, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to add query. Now this defines a query that we can use anywhere inside of our application.
And the benefit of creating this query um, off of the entity right here is so that you can reuse these queries all over the app. You can use them on screens like we're going to do, or you can call them in code to perform business rules. You can even write code to extend and pre-process queries. We'll get deeper into that in a future video. So for now, let's just add a new query for the product entity that sorts the products by their product name. So I'm going to call this sorted products. And I'm going to add the same filter that we had before, product name ascending. Okay, but now we can refer to this query anywhere in our application. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new screen, add a new screen. And it, we can just create an editable grid screen again. But this time I'm going to create it instead of just pro off of products, off of sorted products. And click OK. Let's go ahead and now you'll see there's sorted products query here. And we could even edit the, this particular query even further if we want for the specific screen. Let's go ahead and just make sure that this works as expected. So hit F5. Okay, so now we've got the editable sorted products grid, and there it is. Okay, so it's coming up with the same sort. This is exactly what we want. But the only difference is this is using the global query, sorted products, and this is using a screen-specific query. Okay, so let's see how we can filter some of this data as well. I'm just going to add something simple. I want to add a filter criteria um, that's not already supported in the search box. Okay, so I want to basically display um, uh, products that don't have a description. Okay, and I'm just going to stick it on a grid down here below. So let's go ahead and close this down. And right click on products and add a query. And I'm going to call this products without description. Okay, and what I want this uh, query to also be sorted by the product name ascending. So what we can do is we can instead of we can go to the source drop down here and instead of selecting products, which would mean base it on the entire entity itself, we can base it on sorted products. So this is pretty cool that you can um, base queries on other queries. It's particularly nice if your query is complex and you just need to add an additional clause or something. Okay, so let's go ahead. So that's already sorted. So let's go ahead and just add our filter where the description is empty. All right, so let's go ahead and save that. All right, so now we can go back to our um, to our screen here. Our sorted products grid. And what I want to do is I want to now add a data item to this screen. And the data item I'm going to, to add is a query. And now you can see our products without description is here. Okay, there's our sorted products, there's our products without description. Okay, so I'll click OK. And now, now that we've got our query listed here and our, all of our data items on the screen, we can go ahead and add products without description as a grid below. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, run this application again and see what we get. Now, I don't have any products in the system that don't have descriptions, so I'll need to add another one. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up our editable sorted products grid. And now you'll see there's our products um, in you know ascending order there, and there's none with uh, no description yet. So let's go ahead and uh, add a new one, and we'll just say test product and no description. And click OK, save. Let's refresh the screen, execute the queries, and you'll notice there's the test product without the description up here. Okay, so that's how you can create um, filters and sorts by using queries in the query designer. You can use queries um, just specific to the screens, or you can use query global queries, and you can even base queries on other queries. Okay, thanks for watching.